holiday rush turning into a holiday crush? Let's turn that around with intuition. Welcome to the free weekly energy show, Inklings, connecting you to your intuitive guidance system with me, Irina. If we haven't met, I'm a spiritual life guide and an energy alchemist, and it is my joy to help curious empathic seekers speak the language of intuition. And today we're going to talk about how intuition can help, specifically in three steps, to navigate holiday frenzies and rushes with ease. Now, why would we even want to use our intuition during a time like this? Well, the first thing that really comes to mind for me is buyer's remorse. How many of you out there, please let me know I'm not alone, just drop me a little heart emoji, have bought something and looked back and thought, oh my gosh, why did I buy this? And if we tune back into the moment, we can see how the collective excitement, the rush, the intensity of the moment, we got swept up in it, and all of a sudden we purchase something. And we look back and we think, this isn't me. Well, that's a good sign you're not tuned into your intuition. Intuition could have really helped you there. Another place that I find intuition is a lifesaver are those family dinners. You know, those relatives that maybe you see once a year or friends or coworkers that come around. This is a time of year where it's easy to put our foot into our mouths or get stuck in a conversation that isn't quite so great. So how can we use intuition to navigate moments like that with grace and calm? And then finally, why and where I love to use intuition is traffic. Holiday traffic is an interesting thing in and of its own, whether you're traveling or you're simply going out to the stores to pick up supplies and gifts. Knowing when to leave, what roads to avoid, intuition can help with this. So I find having your, in your intuitive senses fully turned on at this time of year is a lifesaver. So let's get into those three specific tips. First thing I want to invite you to do is look at your eyes. Whether you just hold up your phone, phone and look in the camera or you check yourself out in the mirror, check out your eyes and even the people you're talking with. Notice, are they dull and lifeless? If the eyes are dull, the sparkle's gone, it's a good sign that whoever you're working with, whether it's you or someone else, they're checked out. They're not present, they're not grounded, they're not gonna hear you. And how often in a rush you need to move quickly, you need people to be tuned in, listening to you. The faster we move, the more we have to be tuned in. So if your eyes are dead and lifeless, then that's a sign you need to bring your spirit back to the present moment. And how do you do that? Through step number two, your breath. During a time like this, I invite all of my intuitive students to check in with their breath. And you can notice physically in the body, when you inhale, what part of your body responds? Is it just the chest lifting? Can you feel the ribs expand? Are you getting a deep belly breath? The reason the breath is so important is when you take that deep belly breath, you are triggering the beautiful little cilia, they're kind of like, like in our nose, the little hairs, that tell the nervous system, it might be a stressful situation, but it's not a life or death moment. The calmness you, with that deep breath allows you to navigate the system with a lower heart rate, lower blood pressure, as opposed to being all up high and anxious and stressed out. You know, when you hear people say, they're so uptight, well, it's partially because the breath is held up only in the chest, telling the system, the nervous system, we're in a fight or flight situation. Because when you're taking shallow breaths, that's what you're doing to your body. And you're pumping more cortisol, which is not exactly helpful for when we're trying to stay trim and fit and healthy in the holiday season. So deep breaths help. One of my favorite practices for this is to start with an exhale first, then inhale to a count of four, and exhale to five. The longer exhalation is the key here. That's what's gonna lower the heart rate. And then check your eyes out in the mirror. You're gonna see that they start to sparkle, that you're more present. And then the final thing is color. Now this is an interesting one. Color tells us a lot and color can also shift an energy or a mood. People use red in dining rooms to help with digestion, to increase appetite. People use blue for peaceful conversations or maybe violet, purple for spiritual connection. 
People have used colors for century to shift an experience. And what I want to share with you, this is my number one tip to help reduce the tension and ease, whether you're out at the store or you're with a crazy conversation and you just need to mm, navigate your way out of it, is this, this next one. So I'm going to just invite you to take a deep breath and anything that's in your space, just imagine flushing it to the earth where it'll be recycled into something of great beauty and see yourself in a beautiful golden ball of light. And that golden ball, ball of light is gonna neutralize the energy around you. I have used this time and time again to diffuse tense situations. And what it does is it helps take the fight, the charge, the anger out of the moment and it enables people to have a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation and you get to that place of peace. So to navigate this holiday season with peace and calm, I invite you, check your eyes, are they sparkling? Take that deep belly breath and use that golden light to help diffuse tense situations. If this has helped you, please share this with a friend. Let's spread the peace and the compassion during these frenzy and holiday moments and then also, I encourage you, if this has brought up more questions and answers, if you're looking to develop your intuitive abilities, click on the link around this video and let's continue the conversation. Have an amazing day and happy, happy holidays wherever you are. Much love. Catch you next week. Bye, guys.